Okay, I'd like to now talk a little bit about audio. Um, as I said, this is sound devices, so we don't compromise on the quality of audio. We have put in to the PIX recorders, both the 240 and the 220, really the same audio input circuitry as our award-winning 7 Series recorders. So really low noise, low distortion. And it comes with all the features that you would expect from a high-end audio recorder. These are actually the various audio options you have. At the moment, we're talking about the analog balanced XLR inputs on the device. Okay. As I said, these use the same circuitry as our award-winning 7 Series recorders. But there are other options. We can also switch these XLRs to be AES digital inputs. So we actually have four channels of AES digital capability as well, which is a quite a useful um, tool for working with cameras that have digital outputs and also mixers like the 552 mixer, which has four channels of AES out. We can see the various options. We can take, we can power phantom mics. We can even power line feed as well if you've got a very hot, hot signal. <coughs> Mic and line inputs. Then you can see we have uh, low cut options um, with various frequencies for rolling off the low frequencies. You've got a slope adjustment as well for the low cut filters. You can, as I said, we have an input limiter, really high quality, low distortion limiter, which is fixed threshold at around minus 3 dBs from full scale audio. And that will really help to prevent any digital audio overload of your audio signal. We can, as I said, we can also work with up to eight channels of SDI embedded audio too. So we also have something here called input delay. Now this is actually really important because if you're taking video from a camera, SDI, it's quite common that on many cameras the SDI video is actually delayed slightly due to processing. So we actually need to compensate for that. We have to delay the audio by a similar amount to ensure that the audio and the video remain in sync in the QuickTime file when it's delivered to post. So we have the ability to adjust from anywhere from zero up to 200 milliseconds. On the PIX, we have this five pin XLR line output, which we can be used for feeding audio back to the camera if you want to put a guide audio track on the camera or feeding it off to an external monitor. And you can select the source for that. There's various options on that. By default, it's just channels one and two, but you can actually see that it can almost be used as a mixer by summing all the inputs to the two channels. So the outputs can be attenuated as well, all the way down to sort of mic level. And then we have the ability to set your headphone source as well um, for, for a quick monitoring of various audio channels. We have on the main display really wide, high resolution two channel meters. And there you can see it's displaying the channels on, on the eight channel meters as well. Okay, You don't get that on many cameras. So as you can see, it's a pretty, pretty powerful audio recorder in itself. There's not much in there. There's not much we've left out. You could almost sort of think of it as a, a built-in 702. 